Hi guys, I'm Karunya Rao and in Ideas for Profit, we decode whether SBI stock has further room for rally. The State Bank of India reported robust earnings for the September quarter. India's largest lender saw its net profit rise by a whopping 67% to reach 7,627 crores in Q2, aided by healthy growth in net interest income and a sharp fall in provisions and credit cost. There was a one-time gain from recovery from Divan Housing Finance and Income Tax Refund, which the bank used to create upfront pension provision of 7,418 crores. On the asset quality front also, performance was impressive, marked by lower slippages or gross additions to NPAs. Restructured loans were contained at 30,312 crores, a mere 1.2% of the loan book as of March. Thanks to low slippages, credit cost was just 0.43% of loan book in Q2 FY22, even as the provision coverage ratio improved to 70% in Q2 from 68% in Q1. Overall, SBI posted a robust asset quality performance that beats even top private banks. No doubt, SBI stock price has more than doubled since our note in November, in which we highlighted the bank's rock-bottom valuations at 0.3 times FY22 core book value at that time. Even after the strong 156% rally in the past year, SBI is still trading at an attractive valuation of 1.1 times core book estimated for FY23, implying there is room for more upside. While the rally in past one year was mainly driven by the expansion in valuation multiple, we see earnings growth to lead further upside in the stock price going forward. A significant fall in provisions will be a key driver of earnings growth. There's also a scope for valuation re-rating. The key trigger for that would be revival in private CAPEX cycle, which would boost corporate credit growth. Other catalysts could be stake sale in subsidiary and or an equity capital issue. Since the stock is now trading above its forward book value, equity raising will be book value accretive. Some action can be expected on this front in the near to medium term and not to forget the blue sky scenario wherein the street starts noticing the progress made by SBI's digital banking platform Yono and assigns some value to it. While SBI's overall advances growth was muted, retail loans increased by 15% YOY. The corporate book, which constitutes 35% of the bank's domestic loan book, contracted by 4% and dragged down the overall loan growth. Home loan, which is the largest subsegment within retail, grew by 11% YOY and express credit surged by 31% YOY. Within personal loans, gold loan also saw strong traction. The bank saw a healthy 10% growth in deposits, CASA and term deposits grew by an impressive 12% and 8% respectively. The growth in net interest income was aided by income tax refund. Operating expenses growth was contained at 5% YOY. As a result, the cost to income ratio improved slightly in Q2 FY22. NPAs continue to trend downwards thanks to lower slippages and higher recoveries. Loans worth 8,000 crores which slipped in Q1 FY22 were recovered during Q2. Stressed assets declined sharply to 6,690 crores as of September end from 11,300 crores as of June end. SBI carries additional COVID-related provisions of close to 6,200 crores as of September end, which will limit the earnings downside in future. Thanks to strong internal accruals and the raising of capital through 81 bonds during the year, SBI remains adequately capitalized with tier 1 capital ratio at 11.02% as of September. Digital platform SBI Yono currently has more than 4 crore users. The bank dispersed 7,600 crores worth pre-approved personal loans through Yono in the first half of FY22 also. It opened around 27,600 savings accounts on a daily basis in Q2 through its digital platform. SBI achieved mutual fund sales worth 5,000 crores in the first half of FY22 also through Yono. At the current market price, the stock is trading at 1.1 times core book value estimated for FY23 and is attractive considering the return on equity has touched 13% in Q1 FY22. With asset quality looking relatively upbeat now, we expect earnings to accelerate and stock to outperform. Along with earnings growth, the stock upside will be driven by the expansion of valuation multiple. Given its sheer size and the leading market share, balance sheet of about 50 lakh crores as of September, improved return ratios and end of bad asset quality cycle, SBI should command higher than its long-term historical average valuation multiple which is around 1.2 to 1.3 times forward book. The improving performance of its subsidiaries should also boost sentiment significantly. Simply put, SBI is poised to deliver meaningful returns of more than 20% over the next year despite the staggering rally so far and therefore we advise investors to buy the stock.